So before we go out on the water today, I wanted to make a quick video on how I get my videos out, what app I use, and I want to talk a little bit about how you set your stuff up whenever you post your videos. Um, I use my phone, it's an S21 Ultra. It has like a 40 megapixel front facing camera that we're using right now and my front camera is like 104 megapixel or something like that. It's a awesome phone. Any of the new iPhones and uh, Samsungs are really, really, really good. Uh, the app that I use on my Samsung is called KineMaster, K-I-N-E-M-A-S-T-E-R. And you can keep it free, but their little watermark shows up in your videos, or you can just pay $5 a month, or I think it's like 50 bucks a year or something like that, and uh, the watermark doesn't show up. I'll make a video with my phone, and I'll take those video segments, and I'll load it over into KineMaster, and I'll get everything cut up and voiced over, anything added that I want, and then I will let it compress the video. So say I make... A five minute video if I try to load that directly to the internet without the editing app optimizing everything and compressing it and doing what it needs to do that five minute video may take 20 minutes to load or more but if I take that same video like the one I'm making right now and I stick it over in kind master and I let it do its thing by optimizing everything and then I load it directly from kind master to my YouTube channel it'll take that 20 or 25 minutes to load and it'll knock it down to like four to eight minutes just substantially shorter and a lot of guys are downloading from their phone directly to the internet and it takes them forever to get videos out if you learn the app and you start optimizing your videos in kind master or apps like that when you download to the internet it's a small fraction of the time because the actual editing app optimizes what needs to be optimized and it makes it 10 times easier when you're loading stuff now it's the low budget way of doing it. I literally started with a cheap $100 phone on this channel, made crappy videos to begin with just to start getting people's attention. Never ran it, went anywhere, never did anything, never got views and stuff like that. I started pumping out more content and getting more technical with the stuff I was showing and really trying to make myself more unique than other people. And a lot of people ask why I get so personal on the channel. Why do I connect with people so well? Why do I try to uh, get emotional and stuff when I'm dealing with uh, particular problems and stuff on the channel? It's because it makes people feel normal. It makes people feel like they're not talking to somebody that's a robot. It makes people feel like they're actually learning from a human being that actually cares about things in life and them. And it makes them realize that uh, they, f or that makes them not realize, but they actually end up feeling more comfortable dealing with you than other creators that they get so big they can't reach out to you they can't talk to you they don't respond to your questions and stuff like that it makes it a better situation for you and your subscribers overall if you look at my channel at 30,000 subscribers and then you pick somebody up that has a hundred thousand subscribers there's a lot of people out there that don't even get nowhere near the attraction and attention that my channel does because they just don't get the views they don't have that connection with their audience they don't feel like like they can have a conversation regardless if they agree or disagree. So a lot of times you'll see in the comment section, I'm getting really personal when I'm responding to people. I'm not just some guy that's blowing them off. I'm actually having a conversation with them. I'm actually back and forth a dozen, you know, a couple dozen questions, back and forth, answers, back and forth with the same person a lot of times. That's because I don't want them to feel like I don't care about them because I genuinely do care about them. At the same time, You'll see people come here that troll that I just tell straight the hell off. Like some guy earlier popped up on the channel and he said, Hey bud, watch your tone whenever you're talking about situations. What do you mean watch my tone? Do you wipe my ass? Do you pay my bills? Do you sleep next to me? Do you give up that ass to me at night? No, you don't. So how can you come to my channel and tell me watch my tone? You're going to show up at my door and kick my ass? I think not. So I'll actually tell people what I'm thinking. I won't hide them. I won't block them unless they're being blatantly disrespectful. And then even if sometimes my response is subpar or probably I could have probably done it a little bit more professional, it creates an emotional attraction to somebody and, and that person will typically come back. Even if it's in a negative aspect, good PR is PR, right? So when people come back to my channel because 
uh, they said something super ignorant to me, so I tell them that they should have been swallowed or something like that because that's the kind of nasty, nasty person they are. I get that that's not ideal for some people, but me, I'm being real. I'm not going to sugarcoat how I feel. I'm not going to sugarcoat how I care about somebody or don't care about somebody or want to tell somebody how much they're being an idiot. I just tell them exactly what's on my mind. I make some kind of emotional connection with people and that's what keeps them coming back. 99.9% .9 of the time it's positive. That 1% of the time it's me telling somebody off because they're being complete idiots. Other people don't do stuff like that because they don't have time for it. Me, I'm small enough now to where I still do have time for it and I'll still offer those people help. Like. Even though I just told you off because you were being a moron, I still want to genuinely help you. I still want to be there for you. And that's how I make my connection. That's how my channel grows like it does is because I'm real. I still get upset by things. I'm not a robot. I still have feelings. I still care about people. And I genuinely want to help everybody that I can, even when they're being idiots. I still want that. So that's why a lot of people talk about my channel. That's why I have... You know, th th hundreds of thousands of watch views compared to your gen. You know, I can put one video out right now, and by the end of the day, it has 15, 20, 25,000 views, sometimes 30,000 views. Not all my videos, but then I go look at my content versus somebody else's content because you want to know where you stand in the listing of automotive creators, content creators, and you can find a person that has 100,000 subscribers that don't even touch the amount of watch time that I touch. Because I talk about sensitive subjects and I try to do it tactfully and respectfully but at the same time get my point across and some people don't like that. They'd rather me sugarcoat everything and not try to upset anybody. Well my goal is to upset you. I want to upset you. I want to make you happy. I want to do those things because if I can and you see that you're doing something wrong or you can be doing something better or you just frankly need to be told the truth about something and nobody else is doing that I'm the guy to tell you you're either doing a great job or you're being a complete freaking moron one or the other and that's how I run my channel that's why my channel is as that's why my channel is as is successful is as successful as it is I can't even talk right now so uh, people ask me to just create how I run my channel and what I use and why I do what I do. That's it. Thanks guys. Be blessed. I'm not telling you to do what I do. I'm not telling you it's not going to get you kicked off of YouTube by telling some guy he should have been swallowed. And I probably shouldn't be saying that, but sometimes some people say some really ignorant stuff like they're going to come attack me or something and I respond the way I respond. I have emotions. I'm human. I say things sometimes I shouldn't say, but it is what it is. I'm real. That's why my channel gets watched. Because I don't fake or sugarcoat anything. I'm just real. And I've built my channel off of a $600 to $1,000 phone. I've never had to go out and get DSLRs and, you know, all these cameras and editing equipment and $2,000 computers. Built it off a cell phone and a $5 app. Thanks, guys. Be blessed. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your family this weekend.